Thank you, Adam and Ganesh. It was wonderful to learn about Aleph. And hopefully um, the people watching will go and check them out. I know they're going to be doing a lot of work with us. So uh, keep an eye out for that. But now, the moment you've been waiting for today, the results of semi-final two, they're coming right at you. Um, and then stay tuned for after that. We have the post-interview match, or po match, post-interview with Piotr, Scott, and Ekner Wall. It's going to be very exciting. All right, here we go. Let's turn over to the... so boring Pat, Scott, Andrew congratulations for passing to the finals and the fourth person being Jaeger <laughs> yeah we didn't Thanks see comments. much movement there but uh, yeah I guess uh, what are your thoughts on the round um, you all three solved all of the problems. So I maybe mean, you can talk about which problem you like the most or uh, what you're thinking during the challenge phase and so on. Yeah, I like all the problems a lot, honestly. Um, I think I got pretty lucky. And I think they were, a lot of them were like pretty natural fits. I really like combinatorial games. So the 100 was good. And then 500 was about like uh, simulating ops of a, another programming language, which I also really liked. Um, if I had to pick one, probably pick the 900. Yeah, for me, I think the 500 was the nicest problem, actually. Uh, uh, even though, yeah, the other two are also quite nice. Uh, but for, yeah, for them, it's more, it was more or less clear which direction to pick. And this one, you just have to kind of start from scratch and come up with some idea, which I think is very nice. Yeah, yeah, I, I did like the 500 as well. Um, the uh, the different programming languages are pretty cool, and it's uh, it's cool to see these, like, reductions from programming languages to other programming languages. So I thought that was cool. The 900 was also an interesting game, um, but uh, a lot of the uh, turns out uh, it turns out a lot of the ideas are pretty similar to how you normally analyze these games. Yeah. Lewin was the author of 900, so the <laughs> correct answer to that question was 900 is the best. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think and who the, was the author of the other two? The other two, I think, were from the South. So, yes. yes. Uh, and an interesting fact is that uh, earlier easy and medium were in the other order. Yeah, and I originally think, had them swapped. <laughs> yeah, it was even supposed to be 250, 500, 900. And they were then changed to like easy, medium swap. And what was that? 300 and 400 or something like that? 400, 500, 900. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, I am not. 100% sure about the swap. I'm quite sure that uh, DP, the uh, mask DP wasn't twice, uh, well, twice harder than the language mm -hmm. problem. Yeah. Don't know about yeah, you. But so, so coming up with DP was for me faster than re just reading the language problem. Oh, yes. <laughs> it does take some time just to read the medium. Yeah. And I think yeah. category construction too is often like, I think. Like if you haven't seen the caterpillar construction before, like it takes some time to come up with the the, the right representation. But like if you've worked with them, it's it's kind of clear to use this particular spine. But the proposed statement actually had a hint. It said 
it has all vertices of degree at least two in a path. So it kind of it tells you to look at the set of vertices which have degree at least two. At least that's how my solution works. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know. Uh, I wouldn't call that a hint. <laughs> also, I guess uh, what, who advances to the final came down to the resubmit by Ubi. Did you look into what happened there? Um, I don't know the exact bug. I, I think the most common bug for the 900 is if your bounds are too small, like uh, your pal size. Like mm -hmm. the numbers can get up to like 512, but the bounds or like the pal size is up to 250. So like mm -hmm. if you just do like 256, I think that was the issue. So you might have resubmitted that, or that was most likely. I, I didn't look too closely though, so I'm not too sure. Yeah, I was hoping to challenge on that. Actually, I was looking for that uh, for a while, um, but. Uh... It seems like everyone had it right. Yeah. Well, regarding the challenges, uh, I can understand Pedro, but Scott, Andrew, why didn't you challenge in last seconds to try to get the first place? I was looking for for wrong programs. I didn't find any, and then I didn't want to lose to Andrew, so I had to. Uh, I had to keep. Going. <laughs> yeah, I. Uh, I didn't. I didn't see anything that looked wrong, and like the samples are all very, <clears throat> are all rather strong, right? I actually didn't realize that n equals two case was the challenge on bank. I thought it was something something else. So I <clears throat> didn't even think of that stuff. I don't know. Hmm. So Scott, your priorities are first not losing to Andrew, second advancing to the finals. <laughs> yeah, yeah, something like that. Exactly. I mean, so part of, actually we talked on stream last time about this like uh, the sniping thing. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I mean, I used that strategy to some extent. Like, I started about one minute after, uh, and also a couple other things. Like, I submitted uh, the the nine hundred a little after Andrew, and then uh, like ended up like two points ahead of him. And I think something similar happened for two fifty plus five hundred, like versus Yegor as well. Uh, right. I think well, like, sniping only works if you actually can solve the problem faster, which is which is <laughs> also like part of the impressive part. Like, I don't think I tested the nine hundred that much. But okay, that's fair. That's fair. That's fair. Maybe but yeah, I mean, I think like when, when it's like four out of eight spots, it is pretty important to like the the little things do matter a lot. Yeah, definitely submitted all three problems after the past samples. I think samples were quite good. Well, except for n equals two, of course. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think the samples that have n equals one, so like that might have tricked people into thinking that edge cases were covered. <laughs> yeah. Today it was a good strategy, I think, to submit once you pass sample tests and then test out, uh, test a little bit because well, you have some time. Yeah. Um, you all. Yeah, didn't think, didn't think it would work after the first semifinal. Yeah, that's true. The difficulty was apparently very different. So then, what what can we guess about the finals? Will that be average? The two semifinals. Yeah. I'm just hoping that you save the nicest problems for the finals, right? So they would be even better included. Yeah. I hope that finals we have will have a lot of challenges and a lot of consistency. <laughs> Should be more interesting, hopefully. Oh wow, that's scary. <laughs> and I guess we didn't have any problems from you, Camille, yet, right? Uh, no. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. Knowing uh, did you win the uh, trip writer? Uh, how is it called? Uh, problem writer trip this week, this year? Uh, yes, yeah, I, I barely made it, I guess. Uh, <laughs> I think I, I wrote the minimum to like hit the requirement, so uh, I, I made it again this year. Um, but yeah, I, for this TCO, I, I have written this problem so far. I guess you'll have to wait until final to see if there are other ones for me. But, uh, Likely in that leaderboard, you can see how many problems have been prepared and you can, you know, you can guess. Happen. Yeah. Um, any thoughts on the strategy for the finals, guys? Something crazy, maybe starting from heart problem? <laughs> I don't know if yeah, starting from the heart matters that much. <laughs> well, I'm going to keep doing that. Starting time. the easy a little bit, a couple minutes late is probably good. Like. Today, I think I made easy and medium swap, so maybe for the finals, I will make the same, but for easy and hard. So, you know, maybe. It's <laughs> soft, easy, and hard. <laughs> yeah. We're going to have a 400, 500, 600 point final. 
uh, did you guys enjoy competing at home versus uh, in the on-site? It's okay at home. It would be. It's really cool to like you know be able to you know mingle with everyone and like play games and stuff on-site. Uh, so it kind of sucks not being able to do that. But um, you know, being at home means I guess more familiar environment. Yeah, hopefully we'll have TCO twenty one back in person. Yeah, yeah. It's definitely cool that we we still were able to to have this event even despite yeah. everything that's going on. I will repeat the idea from before this stream. What about a cruise ship? What about <laughs> all TCO participants go on a cruise ship? You know, two week quarantine first, and then we can <laughs> compete. If we have internet issues, we can dock somewhere for just you know the contest. What about so? That? Is the is the cruise ship like I don't really want to fly? So is the cruise ship going to like try you know come to <laughs> <service> <laughs> to pick us up? Uh, do you Still live around around. do you live near the coast? I do live near the coast, okay, so then. that we can make that work. I guess so. <laughs> yeah, we'll definitely have a problem with Switzerland. Ah <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> From Switzerland, maybe there is some river, and then you need to you know, do the first leg of this journey yourself. What about boat? Uh, what about blimp? A blimp? Oh, you can fly, fly around. Yeah, I don't know if this can go all the way from here to Switzerland. I needed to Google what a blimp is. <laughs> so can you tell us now? Yeah, it's a long air balloon, the one with like advertisements usually. <laughs> okay, so everything planned for the next year? Uh, yep. Then I guess we can finish for today. You guys can rest before Saturday, where uh, the top nine participants will will meet in the finals. Uh, Petr, congrats for the win. Uh, Scott Eknerol, also amazing score. And everybody were less than 50 points from each other, so congrats you all. Jaeger also passed as the fourth participant, and we'll see each other on Saturday. Cool. Thanks, Thanks Thank you. Thank you. Cool. Thank you, guys. Uh, also, see you, Lewin, on Saturday. Yeah. And Nick, take it away. All right, folks. Thank you so much for the little uh, discussion about the problems uh, for us. That was very exciting. Now, uh, up next, we have a short talk from Maddie, who is a Top Coder admin, along with a uh, where are they now admins edition which will be pretty cool if you have if you've been here for a while you may have had your uh, favorite admins who may no longer be working with us but uh but we have found them and we're going to catch up with them in a little bit so stay tuned for that we'll be right back i believe that is in a little bit here um around 12:30 top coder time so it's coming right up okay and we'll see you in a bit. And until then, uh, stay tuned. We'll be on Hopin taking your questions. <laughs>